what's up guys it's your boy Jonesium and welcome to another unboxing slash review and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the June Smooth 4 gimbal and this gimbal if you can't tell by the picture is made for cell phones and I do have the iPhone 10s Max in my pocket right here and this is the mobile phone I'll be using with it with the smooth for today so let's just get right into it i'm gonna try to go through i'm gonna try to go through like um some of the some of the features and this is brand new as you can see i just took it out the plastic okay so you check out my other videos i actually have the um, I have the gimbal for the DSLRs, the crane. I have the crane, the crane V2. Basically, it's the first, basically it's the first version or the second version of the first crane. So they have the crane, the crane V2, the crane plus, and then I think the crane two. And they're, um, they're coming out with another one shortly. I think in November they're coming out with another gimbal. It's the <clears throat> they're coming out with the Crane 3 and the uh, Weeble Weeble Lab. I think it's called. Okay, so let's just take a look at. We got the Quick Start Guide right here, and it is in English. Thank you very much. So I, I really hope that these batteries are charged. So I've read that there's a lot of issues with like the compatibility with Android devices. I'm not really concerned with that because I have, a, I have an iPhone. So it gives you a list of all compatible mobile devices in here as far as Android goes. But I'm not concerned with that. So let's just get going. Okay, as you can see, it's very compact. And we have a USB cable, simple. I'm assuming to charge the gimbal. And the gimbal itself and the tripod. So let's just put that to the side. Okay, all right, so let's get this Let's get this thing set up. So, first thing, according to the instructions, is to put the tripod down. And there we go. So, next, um, we just put the phone in there, I guess, right? So it kind of just pops out. Like there's a there's like a notch that locks it into that position. So you know, depending on what you're trying to do, you can you can put it in either way, but I'm just going to put it in this way. Okay, so now we're going to go to the ZY June Play app which you have to go into <clears throat> you have to download it in order to access all the options on the gimbal to your phone you hit please connect device and it's going to search for the gimbal see it pops up it says smooth 40573 that's just a unique identifier or just a random name now it's connected and as you can see we got the front facing camera and if you press this button it'll go to the the main camera in the back so as you can see it's in the horizontal position if you want it in the 
or it was in the vertical position. If you want it in the horizontal position, just slide it out. You can you can go um, so I'm not really sure why you would use it in this position, but whatever. So right now it's in the horizontal or the vertical position and you just boom, just like that. Okay, so let's go over some of the options here, right? So we know we got the pan follow, which is self-explanatory. And then we got the lock mode, which locks everything up like that. And then we have the, uh, we got the full follow mode, which as you can see in the pan follow, it only follows you going side to side, but it does not follow forward backwards. So if you want it to follow forward backwards, then all you have to do is hold down the trigger in the back there's a trigger trigger right here you hold the trigger in the back and it'll basically just and yes I'm in my basement so that's what that's what that does And the other mode is the phone go mode, which basically just speeds up the response of the gimbal. So you got really fast transitions as opposed to the smooth, right? So that's that. And that's the four modes right there. So let's, let's go into the, uh, Let's go into the uh, menu options here. So we're gonna get real close, even though I'm recording on my iPhone as well, but you go into the menu options. Take a look at some of the options here. We have, let's go to camera. So these are all the different modes, I guess. Um, not really gonna go into what all the modes are. Obviously we have panoramic, we have long exposure, Time lapse, uh, motion time lapse, and vertigo. Go to the flash. So we got auto on, and we got steady light, which is like the flashlight. Um, the timer, self-explanatory. High high dynamic range, off or on. Turn it on. We got white balance your usual options, right? We got resolution, we can change. This, the front camera, you can only go up to 1080, but the rear camera, if we just switch to the rear camera here, let's, let's go back. Go to the rear camera, the options for the resolution go all the way up to 4K, 60 frames per second. So if we go back to the front camera and let's go back to the menu. We have, we did the white balance. We did the resolution. You can change it to manual mode. Um, the scene, walking, motion, filter modes, right? So can't use the filters in 4k but in any other resolution you can use the filters so that's pretty weird okay and we got the settings the menu options beauty cam not sure what that is okay um, zoom sensitivity Panoramic time, um, image stabilization. I guess that's what, I'm not sure what OIS is. I, th I think it does stand for image stabilization. 
Uh, you got the grid. I do like to have the grid on actually. Um, it's good for, um, it, it's good for setting up your shot, you know, framing your shot perfectly. You got the boxes there. You got the, it has a diagonal center point. All various options that'll, just depends on what you're shooting at the time. Camera mode, we have pro and then we have original. I'm not sure what that is. They don't explain any of these options in the instruction manual. So, or do they? No, they don't. All right, so. I think that's okay. So we got the record button, which is the red button down here. You can see and we have the picture button taking pictures and then the display button basically just toggles the information display at the bottom toggles that on and off All right so we can change the ISO 200 is like the ideal level in my opinion it is but you can change the ISO and it gives you your exposure right here. So right here, we're perfectly exposed at zero. And then when you bring the ISO down, obviously you can see the screen get darker. That means you're underexposed and then we got overexposure. And it shows you the uh, Yeah, so we got white balance ISO. It's at 60 frames per second. Okay, so that's all the options there. And we have the wheel right here. So this is the, I think this is the focus and the rear the front camera doesn't have manual focus, but it does have zoom. So if we go to the front camera, you'll see that you have the, the focus. You can change, you can change the focus point here. So you can see it focuses on things close to the camera, like really close. So there, so now as we go back, you can see it's, focusing on stuff in the background right now. So that's pretty cool. It's like way. Alrighty. All right, so I think I'm all set here with this review. Um, we went through all the options, went through all the through all the operation modes, and this is a very a very robust smartphone stabilizer. Um, if you have a if you have a phone that has a really good, nice camera, which most phones within the past couple of years have exceptional cameras you should be able to put out some pretty professional looking content especially for like instagram and whatnot um <clears throat> if you're like me for like bigger projects we use the sony alpha 6300 but if i just want to be out and shoot some nice looking video i always have my phone on me i just throw this little gimbal in the trunk and just whip it out. I mean, you can put it in the front seat with you and just whip it out whenever you got to and then pop the phone in and you're literally ready to go in like 30 seconds. No balancing needed, none, as far as I can tell, there's no balancing needed and that's it. So if you like the crane too or any of the cranes, then you'll love this, pick it up, 
um, if you plan on doing smartphone type filmography or if you want your Instagram videos to look really nice and smooth, um, definitely pick this up. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because if you don't, I'm gonna come beat you up. No. I need my I need more subscribers. So basically, I'd appreciate it if you just like the video, comment, and subscribe. I prefer subscriptions. I'm gonna be doing the new gimbal that, that's coming out in November, the Weeble Lab, and hopefully I can get my hands on the Crane 3 as well. So look out for those videos in the next couple of months or so. But thanks for watching. I'm out.